Fears on the horizon for 13 villages in the outskirts of Mangaung, the University of the Free State, together with water entity Bloomwater, have embarked on a project to search for underground water sources. This will kick-start the drilling of boreholes and alleviate the crippling effects of the drought. High-tech equipment is being used to detect uh, dolerite rocks next to which underground water is usually found. The village of Balaklava has 112 households and the recent drought has left a small subsistence farming community on its knees. One borehole is their only source of water. More than a hundred of their cows and sheep have succumbed to the severe drought. We really lost a lot of uh, our animals and as you can see that we didn't even plow. Normally we have uh, got back, uh, back at gardens, but as you can see, there are no gardens, there are no fields, fields are empty. But help is on the way. These master students from the University of Free State are using advanced technology to detect underground water. What this project is all about is we are going to use geophysical methods, we are going to site drilling positions and we are going to see whether we can't help these village people. Poros have dried up during the last drought and I think this drought has made us think a bit different about water, but especially groundwater. We are actually going to try and draw at least two boreholes in each of the, of the villages. From here it's five more villages to go. Then the drilling will begin to bring much needed relief to communities such as this one. Alessamo Eti, SABC News at Balaklava Village.